All right, so we're working on the LS Swap Mustang again here. Uh, I know it's been a while, it's been sitting, but uh, I'm trying to get it finished up here. And what I'm working on right now is uh, all the Chevy wiring clean up. That's where we left off pretty much. So all the nice loomed up stuff, that's all the Chevy wiring. Uh, I was working on getting all the factory Ford gauges to work on the dash and everything does work now, except for the speedometer. So we got coolant temp, oil pressure, uh, tack works, everything else works like that. This is the Ford tack sensor that we cut the teeth into the power steering pulley. That's working fine. Uh, this is the Ford coolant temp sensor. Got it up to temp. That thing reads fine, so that's all good. So I'm going to be going through, cleaning up all the Ford wiring, making it look nice and neat like it was supposed to be there, cleaning up all this stuff, all these loose ends, all these plugs for the air conditioner and stuff like that. We're just going to tie them away for now over here. Uh, until I get to hooking that all up uh, But what I'm doing right now is I'm running a couple wires from the front of the car to the back of the car For the fuel pump relay. So we have the battery mounted in the trunk. I'm gonna mount a relay back there its own relay for the fuel pump uh, And the trigger is gonna come from the Chevy ECM that way it only runs when it needs to it'll cycle when you turn the key and then uh, it won't run again until it sees a crank signal so that way you can leave the key on it's not going to sit there and run the fuel pump um, that's the way it's supposed to be so this is the fuel pump trigger wire one of these here it's this gray one so this gray wire that I had tied up so all this stuff that is just you know patched together here uh, we're putting actual waterproof automotive connectors on all that so we're going to be doing that in this video getting these wires run to the back for the fuel pump uh, if you notice there's four wires there so one of them is going to trigger the fuel pump the other three are extras uh, two of those are probably going to go to the rear end for a tack for a tack not a tack for a speed sensor on the rear wheels uh, this has an 8.8 .8 in it now so the rear wheels have a reluctor ring on it and I can put an ABS sensor in there uh, and get a converter to convert that to the speed sensor output that was on the old T5 transmission. So this is the transmission speed sensor that used to go to the transmission. It doesn't work anymore because it's not a T5. So anyways, I know that was a lot of talking, but it's been a while since I've worked on this. But that's the plan as of right now. So I got the wire ran from the front to the back. So if we look on the front, it comes out right here. Uh, the wires are right inside here. The four wires are ran. So those are going to go up here to the wire up there. They run down nice and neat under all the kick panels. Come out. Ignore all this. It's just extra stuff, but it's in this nice loom coming up, 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 and to the back. So, comes out right here. Follows all the factory loom. It's a factory loom right next to it. Can't even tell the difference. There they are. So, what's going on here is I mounted two relays here. So these relays have fuses built into them. The 30 amp relays. Plenty big for a fuel pump. I'm also going to use them on the fan. I mounted two. Uh, one of them just an extra. Probably not ever going to get hooked to anything. But I have a spare relay and fuse. If something happens to the fuel pump relay and I'm driving and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Pop the other one over and we're good to go. What I'm doing over here. Uh, I mentioned this in a previous video. But I'll mention it again. The factory Ford fuel pump system has no return line. It has a... Uh, variable speed fuel pump. This is the driver for it down here uh, And basically we are eliminating the driver uh, There's a return line now that goes to the tank when you turn the key the pump cycles when the engine starts the pump stays on Continuously full power uh, whatever it doesn't need is bled off back through the return line so to do that you basically just have to have a uh, relay power the fuel pump all the time and Eliminate this driver. So if you look here on this plug this red with black stripe and the black on the outside of the plug, see the one cut off right here? These two run directly through the harness over to the fuel pump. So if you give these two wires, you know, ground and, and positive 12 volts, uh, that fuel pump will run at 100% speed. Uh, we are going to be replacing that pump in the tank with a higher flow pump, but that's later. So I'm going to cut these off like I did here, splice them onto this wire. They're going to run over to the relays which run into, this is the trigger for the relays. The other power is gonna go straight to the battery. It's fused on the relay. Uh, and that's gonna be triggered by the Chevy computer when the fuel pump needs to be on. So I know that's a little complicated, but uh, it's actually, you know, pretty simple compared to the way the Ford system works. 
So I'm gonna get going on that, get everything hooked up in the back, and then we'll come back to the front and start hooking up to the Chevy computer. And then we can test it, make sure it all works. So it, fuel pump wiring is finished back here. So we have our loom. This is our ground for our fuel pump, comes off of the main uh, negative for the entire car. So that's a good power source there. Our positive goes straight up to the positive on the battery. Runs in the loom here, down. These are our extra wires that I ran from the front that are gonna probably go for the speedometer, but I just put them there so they go from the back of the car to the front of the car and I don't have to run anything later. Um, this is our relay that's being used. This is the extra relay, so these wires are just hanging down here, go to nothing. Um, this relay comes over here to the factory forward wiring. I just plugged that thing back in. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but it keeps that plug from dangling. So this is done. Uh, if I touch the green wire in the front, which is what I picked for the uh, fuel pump relay, this relay comes on, fuel pump runs, so all that works. So now I move to the front of the car. So this is where our wiring comes from the back. Uh, the other two wires are in here. They're just stuck in there. But uh, green is our fuel pump. Other three are the extras. Uh, if we come to this side, this is our fuel pump trigger coming out of the factory Chevy fuse panel. Uh, this blue wire is our key on power that energizes the entire Chevy uh, ECM and fuse panel. So I just have it shoved in a Ford fuse right now. That's getting taken out of there and being permanently attached to a keyed source. This brown is our oil pressure uh, switch uh, to make the Ford oil pressure gauge work. And what I'm basically doing is I have this kit here of weatherproof electrical plugs uh, and everything like this kind of stuff is going to get a plug on it. Uh, it'll be sealed. These are just like normal weatherproof car plugs here what you would find on the wiring harness uh, and basically what's going to happen they're actually almost identical to these factory I mean, you can see there's a Ford one and there's these they don't have the pins in them but they're pretty much exactly the same so um, those are going to get put on anything that is going between two different harnesses so between the car and the Ford or the Chevy and the Ford or whatever so that in the event that any of this has to be taken apart or engine has to be swapped or something like that. Everything comes apart easy, everything's sealed, everything's waterproof, uh, and it can all be unplugged. So I'll get going on that and I'll bring you back once that's finished. All right, so this is the current uh, status of the wiring here. We've got our nice plug put in. So this has our power to the Chevy uh, computer over there, oil pressure in the middle. And then this gray one over here is the fuel pump signal that goes through this plug uh, over here into this little plug. So this green goes back to the fuel pump that we wired in the back over there. That works fine. I uh, also installed this relay. This relay goes down to the fan. I ditched the factory forward fan controls. It just comes on when the engine's running and that's the way it is. So as you can see, if we go inside the car now and turn on the key, the fuel pump will prime. Let's see. So you probably can't hear it, but the fuel pump primed. And then if we start it. It's running. And also our fan is on now. So that's that. Fuel pump wiring is finished. What I'm going to work on now is cleaning up all this ugly wiring here, all the Ford stuff, put everything where it needs to go, start looming it up, start putting it where it needs to go, and that should almost complete the wiring. So get going on that next. All right, so I got most of the forward wiring cleaned up. Uh, I have the reverse light and speedometer plugs just tucked away down here. Uh, that's where the other loose wires are that went all the way to the back that are gonna go to that stuff. Uh, I got a couple uh, unwrapped wires here yet, just a few. Crank signal goes over there still. Temperature sensor goes here, nice and neat. All the AC stuff goes under this shroud and over to this side. So this is our pressure sensor, which is gonna go right back on the factory line that goes right here. And then this is our AC compressor clutch, which will just go under the cradle and over to the AC compressor because it's on the bottom of the engine on that side on Chevy's. So that's that, but it's starting to look pretty good. Uh, wiring wise got a few more things to clean up but it's getting pretty close so next order of business uh, tomorrow I'm going to work on the sway bar link we had to drop the sway bar link to clear the uh, crank on the front of the engine down there I don't know if you can see the sway bar right underneath the crank 
uh, but it's just hanging there. So I need got to make uh, plates that go on the factory mounts that drop it down. It just moves the bolt holes down about an inch. Uh, make those plates, bolt them up, and that should be good. Uh, and then after that, we'll just keep working on the small things. Hopefully get the turbo ordered soon. Start working on that. I think I'm going to run it. No intercooler for now. Uh, and just don't run crazy timing and whatever. Uh, so the turbo is going to go on here. Straight into the intake. Exhaust is just going to shoot out the hood. Uh, we got to do decapped injectors is the way I'm going to go on the injectors. So basically you take the stock Chevy injectors. Uh, I got a bunch of them and grab from the junk card and you grind all the caps off of them so you get more flow and then you got to flow test them and find a set that are matched uh, and then we're going to upgrade the fuel pump in the tank and should be getting pretty close after that so uh, stay tuned i did not forget about the mustang i'm going to keep working on it but uh you know other stuff comes first so 